Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Wednesday, the 23rd of October. Unions have come out in force against government workplace policies with protests today across the entire country. Here's ETU Union's Rachel McIntosh rallying the thousands gathered at Auckland's Aotea Square. In Wellington, the protest was taken to Parliament. PSA Assistant Secretary Flo Fitzsimmons spoke to the crowd, decrying the plight of public service employees. It is shameful. They have dismissed thousands of public servants that work in offices around here and all over New Zealand. One person has serious injuries after an alleged assault on a bus in Auckland's Onihunga. Hatohone St John says one ambulance and three rapid response units attended. More than 50 firefighters are battling an out-of-control hedge fire in North Canterbury on the Rangiora's Flaxton Road. Crews called about 2.30, found about 200 metres of hedge well involved in flames and a hay barn alight. Two helicopters with monsoon buckets are assisting and one property has been evacuated. Multiple roads are closed. A drone briefly forced air firefighting operations to pause as firefighters slow the advance of a massive Waikato blaze in Whangamarino wetland near Merimere. The drone was quickly grounded, letting uh, helicopters and a fixed-wing aircraft resume aerial work. The blaze's perimeter has grown to 15 kilometres, with more than 1,000 hectares of environmentally sensitive land scorched. Incident controller Mark Tinworth says the air crew have slowed the blaze and ground crews have put in a containment line, stopping some of the fire. Gaps in Ministry of Education information on student performance before NCEA level. An Auditor General report recommends better collection of progress reports on primary and intermediate students. It found the gaps make it harder to identify and tackle inequities. Auditor Leanne Arker says they're pleased the Ministry broadly agrees with the report. Although the Ministry has plans to address some information gaps, we think it needs to do more and we hope that our recommendations will support the Ministry's work in the future. Frustration as research into terrorism is shut down. RNZ reports the Department of the Prime Minister and Cabinet has written to her whenua taurikura saying funding will end. It was set up after the Christchurch mosque attacks. Muslim community spokesperson Abdul Razak says this puts vulnerable communities at risk. This was a world beater. This was a centre of excellence which other countries talked about as the model. To sport, Canterbury opener Chad Bowes has recorded the fastest domestic cricket double century in the world against Otago at Hagley Oval in the Ford Trophy. He's reached 200 in just 103 balls. Billy Proctor has spent his six-test absence learning off his teammates as he prepares to return at centre for the All Blacks against Japan and Yokohama on Saturday. The Boston Celtics have begun their NBA title defence in commanding fashion, thrashing the New York Knicks 132-109 to in the season opener. I'm Raylene Ramsey. That is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.